What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome back to Under the Rave in the Redwoods video here today on the channel. In this one, it's going to be a little bit of a tutorial, one specifically how to get on the power because it's a little bit different than zombies in Spaceland. There's not multiple different switches, there's only one as we've seen with say Treyarch zombies and things alike where there's one main power source for the entire map. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to it here, how to activate it. It's rather quick, rather simple, but might cost you a little bit here so you need to accumulate some points. But before we get too far into it, if you guys have not seen it already we put up some raw gameplay up until I believe about scene 12 earlier in the day here so I'll leave an annotation on screen if you guys want to check that out as well as I'll leave some cards intermittently throughout this video to check out some of the other multiplayer maps that we've showcased here early on the channel the past couple of days if you guys are so interested in that clicking on those will take you directly to those and of course we'll let you guys see those gameplay and footage earlier than what they are actually out there live as they go live tomorrow for PlayStation 4 users at I believe midnight Eastern Standard Time but I could be wrong on that one but regardless tomorrow Tuesday is the day of sabotage's release and then therefore a month later for Xbox one and PC users but enough of that babbling let's talk about how to get to the power in this tutorial so as some of you guys may or may not know the map does interconnect with each other there are different pathways you can do and it's very possible that the pathway that I took in this gameplay and footage could be maybe one step shorter if you take a different passageway. And I believe if you stay inside the house and go to the left, it cuts out one door entirely. But for the purpose of this video, what I did was I started at the patio and I went out from there. Me and Blake were in Credilag. We're basically just exploring at this time as well. So once again, it kind of was just the main center point here for this. But whenever you get out onto the patio, open up that door, make sure you go to the right and towards the adventure or obstacle course with this. Once in the obstacle course area, you have to kind of traverse your way up the hill via the obstacle course. It's just a matter of walking up these stairs as well, but there is one part we have to make kind of a strafe jump to the other side. But then when you're up on top of that hill, you want to jump down into the climbing wall and there you'll see a little bit of a pit where you're in, where you can climb out of, or you can stay there and open up the door to the recreation area, which is where the rave is. Now from the rave, you want to go up onto the little hill. There's going to be once again, a little barrier there as well, but then you want to make your way into the old Hudson mine, which is the final door, door five. And that will be something where once you open that up, you are pretty much in the clear as to get the power on. Once again, though, looking back at this map now that I just pulled up, it is one step shorter if you stay in Bear Lodge at the very beginning. Go out towards the left by the staircase, you then go towards the mess hall, take a left towards the camper cabins, and then from there you'll be able to enter into the Old Hudson Mine, effectively saving you one door. But once you are in the Old Hudson Mine, you need to make your way down to the bottom and you'll see a little bit of a tunnel, a little cavern if you will, and then follow that in there and then you'll be at the very bottom of the Bear Lodge cabin. You'll be in the basement where there is a zombie on a revolving wheel where you would throw throwing knives at him. But right next to that contraption is the power, the main power for the entire map. And once you're there, all you have to do is simply hit it and you're good to go for the rest of the match. It's something that once again is a little bit different than Spaceland. So it powers the entirety of the map, not just one area like we saw within the last zombies map. So that is it. That's just a short little simple and sweet tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and jumping into Raven the Red woods here for everybody hopefully this helps you out jump start a little bit of your gameplay experience with this and i really do hope you guys enjoy this map because i'm quite loving it from the gameplay i've played already i can't wait to get home finish my classes tomorrow and jump right on board with this and maybe stream it a little bit but that's gonna wrap it up so hopefully this was straightforward enough hopefully you guys enjoyed and that said if you guys did make sure you drop a like down below if you guys are new to the channel maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything infinite warfare dlc 1 cod 2017 modern warfare mastered all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel i got another video Video going live I believe here in a little bit but stick around for that if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter that link is down there in the description below to get in touch with me that is the best place to do so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there and finally if you guys want to check out the videos on screen right now this will take you to some more zombie stuff as well as some early footage from the multiplayer map so thank you dudes so much for watching my name is Nicole Espresso I'll see you guys later take care and peace